drapes Keep your wicks wet And your coils tight If you're looking for new flavors And all about the clouds We're all filling up a clear road We're dripping on the sub On reviews for the juice While Trav and Josh host View it on YouTube And prepare for overdose Here we are, overdose vapes. At least you worked overdose vapes into that one. Yeah. Sometimes, Josh. Sometimes it takes 10 minutes. Josh Travissimo. Okay. So I'll, I call, I'll I call that sometimes. The first time, but we're okay. <laughs> uh, Other people. We're, 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 we're back. Back at you. Uh, we're, this is a long overdue finish of a line that we started. Popular, very popular. Very popular line. We started this line, what, like fucking 10 <laughs> months ago? 10 years ago? Uh, we've had this juice just sitting around. Uh, yes, we have. Probably because it's in zero. It's in zero. Might be why. Uh, this, is a, this is a gift from our uh, friends at Vaping Up up in Healdsburg, Troy Scribner. The Scrib. The Scrib Meister. The Scrib DJ. Stano. DJ. Skits, 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 the Scrib. The scrib around uh, He gave us a bunch of juice, and amongst those juices was all three of the Cutwood lines. We have done all of them except for Monster Melons. Monster mm -hmm. Melons, people. Monster Melons. What is the description on that, Travis? Uh, that is a cantaloupe mixed with papaya and mango. Papaya and mango? Those aren't melons. Those aren't melons. Huh. Um, so that's interesting. We, you know, when I went into this, call me crazy. But I thought that there would be, I don't know, More melons. than one melon? Because it says melons, per, plural? I thought maybe watermelon. Uh, I honeydew? thought maybe honeydew. You know, to be honest, I actually didn't expect cantaloupe. I expected watermelon. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Like a tricked out watermelon. A tricked out watermelon? That sounds good. It does sound good, but a so, cantaloupe mixed with papaya and mango. Hmm. Interesting melon flavor. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Why it's bottle service. Yeah. Melons. I'm sure y'all seen these bottles, but we'll check them out real quick because that's what we do. It's a nice bottle. It's a very nice bottle. All right, let's jump up close. Very well up here with Cut Woods Monster Melons. Uh, to me, melon, melon. Yeah. What the hell's the deal with that? Watch the rest of the review. You'll get that. This is in zero nicotine. Got the biggest C there for Cut Wood. Uh, you know what? I just realized this is not the last uh, cut wood that we need to do to complete the series. Oh, they, boss we need to do boss reserve next. So look forward to that in the future. All right, let's jump back out, have a vape. We're back. And we're back with monster melons. Uh, uh, monster one melon and other <laughs> tropical fruits. That's what they should have <laughs> called it. That's a. Uh, it doesn't quite come off the tongue as easy. Yeah, I guess not. But <laughs> fucking don't lie about what you're fucking selling. It, uh, the, my problem with this is if you saw this sitting, if you didn't have the internet yeah. at your disposal, say you don't have a smartphone, because not everybody <laughs> does. <laughs> if you're a cave map until recently, I didn't. So you go into a store, you see cut wood, you've heard good things, you see monster melons, maybe you like watermelon, maybe you like cantaloupe, maybe you like any kind of melon, and you order, you get this, and then, and then it turns out that it doesn't have a lot of melon in it. It's weird. And I like Cutwood, don't get me wrong, but this is a fucking, this is a missed opportunity to call it what it really is. Alright, let's try it. Let's try it, people. After I rag on it enough. Okay, Monster Mullins. Monster Mash! Um, to me, mango does not come across well in vapes. It tastes more like the rind of a fucking mango. Or of a different fruit, even, maybe. Like the pith. Do you know what the pith is? It's the part of a fruit you don't eat normally. It's bitter. It's uh, It's got, like, a like a dirty, almost, taste. Like a fucking earth... Like what Josh famously... His famous last words, earthiness. Earthy. I do get the earthiness a little bit. Maybe from the, uh, the papaya there. You know, maybe papaya, maybe mango. I've gotten it with both and other vapes. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a, it's not a bad flavor. I do like the melon, kind of the melon part of it. I honestly don't get very much cantaloupe. I'm gonna be honest. The yeah, melon, the melon. Cantaloupe is one of the um, weaker melon. Yeah, it's flavors. definitely not strong. No, it's flavor. not a strong flavor. I, I was expecting watermelon. I mean, the watermelon would have held up better against papaya and mango. I get papaya. With some really like negative side effects of mango. 
That's what I get. It's uh, for me. It's just on the edge of the earthiness, right? And it's like just over the edge. So there's just a slight bit of it. I do like the sweetness that it leaves in my mouth after mm -hmm. after I'm done. I do kind of. That's a nice little aftertaste it's got. I, you know, I thoroughly. I, this is so weird because normally we were right on the money together. Yeah. I dislike the aftertaste. Huh. That's when I get like the most earthy. Uh, the most like just not good trappings of uh, papaya and mango. Those like uh, overripe fruit flavors. Those like uh, the fructose sweetness. Um, almost, you know, I'm gonna be honest. Sweet. Almost like a a spartame, like a fake sugar. That's mm -hmm. that's the aftertaste, like a diet coke, like a saccharin or something. Like a saccharin. Yeah. Um, I it, it's not pleasant from the aftertaste for me, and the actual flavor, I don't get any cantaloupe, and I get like a really yeah. muted papaya and and a and like the the fucking mango. overripe mango skin. Mm. That's me. I, this is this is a huge disappointment to me. Huh. So. Big surprise. I mean, hey, some people I'm sure love this. I've heard I've heard mixed things. I think, but uh, most people like it. I think um, it's just not really down our profile. I think we were expecting more melon. To be honest, it is called Monster Melons. Maybe that's why I'm so negative on it. Yeah, because yeah. I just... we do pay a lot of attention to descriptions because that's what you're going off of if you're buying it. And it says um, fucking Monster Melons on it. I just don't. I don't. I don't get it. Um, I know. A good friend of ours, Mar, she loves this. And yeah. this is not a personal slight against you. <laughs> of course it not. It really isn't, because we love you, and we think you're a great member of the group. Yeah. Um, Monster Melons is not for me. Right. Just like Swamp Thing really wasn't for me. Yeah. yeah. No, absolutely. I, I like Swamp Thing a little bit. Actually, I think a little bit more than this. Wow. This reminds me, unfortunately, of Vista Vapors. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's rate it. Okay. You want to hit it with a rating? I'm going to go 7-2. Mm. I'm going to say five. Wow. There it is. That's kind of like my baseline for what's acceptable as a vape. Like, it's not pink spot. It's not something fucking no. terrible. It's not from China. No, obviously good ingredients. It's a 70-30 mix. Um, you yeah. know, nothing wrong with the clouds or anything like that, but it's the flavor. It's just the flavor yeah. is not for me. Their other two fucking juices are like two of my favorite juices. My, my wife. She swears by the unicorn one. I yeah. can't remember what it's called. Uh, unicorn milk. Unicorn milk. The original. Yeah. Uh, I like it too. I think uh, it's a really you... unique fucking take on strawberry. Me too. Love this it. this just seems like out of left field. Like their other two flavors were really great. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking with this. Yeah. My bad. Yeah. I'm sorry. My personal opinion. I'll get off my soapbox. <laughs> Let Josh tell you what what his final opinions of it are. Yeah, I gave it a seven five. I mean, it's uh it's an okay flavor. I can see where people would like it. Um, because it's not real offensive, like like earthy. So some people might like that kind of uh, a little bit of the rind or a little bit of the this. I don't know. It's hard to the earthiness, you know. But we're not really guys that like it. But uh, it's a good vape. It's you know, it's just not my favorite flavor. I think that when we say earthiness, I think that what we mean is like an artificial representation of tropical fruit. It comes across as being. Like how an like how a mushroom is earthy, mm -hmm. to me I get that same kind of like dirty, um, from the earth flavor. Not like necessarily eating a thing of dirt, no, but just of not. earthy in the sense that it tastes better than dirt. It's earthy, the, like an essence of a little uh, rusticness, or you know. It's, yeah, it's hard to explain. We, we to use explain. the word. Uh, we use the word. Earthy. Earthy, but uh, maybe sometimes that doesn't really explain to you. We I try. Think it's a perfect representation of what it is. But if you've never tasted it and yeah. put it together, you would. That's that's my it. only yeah. worry is that if you if you don't have any uh, reference, you might not know what we're talking about. But I think once you try it, you'll know. Yeah. Um, okay, we there should probably uh, we should probably cut it. Uh, we Great. have now officially finished off the cut wood line. The Two out of three box. ain't bad. Two out of three ain't bad. Josh actually liked this one. He gave it a seven. He bad. gave it a seven, so that's good. It's not completely horrible. All right, that's <laughs> that's right down on the fucking advertisements. Yeah. Josh Hofer, not completely horrible. Exactly. Craig's right. love. <laughs> <laughs> Thank uh, you for joining us, yeah. man. Huh? Yeah, absolutely. Thank they you. They should join the Facebook group. They should. Maybe they should subscribe if they want more of this amazing content. It's pretty amazing.
All right, until next time, people, please keep your goals tight. And keep your weeks wet. You gotta do that. You gotta, bro. Keep peace in your lives.